my products are not showing in your app so in today's video i'll be showing you how to properly uh, set up your in-app purchases testing in your phone or emulator as well as um google play console so i've got uh, a checklist here so this checklist is going to help you to follow the right step to get it right so i'll share this link in the video description so you can go ahead and just uh, check mark this so the first thing that you need to do is um, go to your project go to your project and add the billing permission at dependencies right so you need to go to your manifest file add this um, billing permission then go to your build cradle file then on your build cradle file you need to add these uh, billing dependencies right so once you are done let's go back to the checklist so you can just see um, description then you can just copy this and just paste it in your uh, app so we're done with that so the second thing you need to do is to generate a signed app bundle with the same key store if you already have an app that is in play store that is in production so you need to use the same key so if you're doing this for the first time then go ahead and just follow me then go to build generate signed bundle right so when you get here just select app bundle then create a new key if you are going to upload for the first time to play store right so if you already have an ex existing key just like me just choose existing file and then go and locate the file which is this one and then use the same password that you used before and then go to next and then um, it's going to generate your uh, app bundle so there you go and then it's done generating the signed bundle then you can just locate um, in the folder that is generated into then now the first thing let's go to our checklist so we are done generating the signed um, app bundle so now the next step is to upload the app bundle to our internal testing or production so in this step you just need to open up your google play console account then if you have an existing app just go ahead and open up the existing app then scroll down to release and then expand testing open internal testing and then create a new release and then open up the directory that you signed your app to and then drag and drop oh it's done uploading so the, we need to just click next and start roll out to internal testing so now this app now it's available to all the testers that i'm gonna show you how to add now you can see that it says available to internal testing so you need to make sure this is not paused so you can just resume the track it should say pause here so now it's fine um so for those that do who already have their app in production they can just go to production just release a new release right so and wait for the app to be reviewed and published to play store then that's when you will start testing right so now let's go back to our checklist and then on our checklist we are done with this that and that so now 
we need to set up license testing and add testers into our internal testing let's close that um, to add license testing you need to go out one level right and then scroll down and go to license testing this is very important guys because this one is going to allow you to use test card if you see uh, that google is charging you real money then it means that it didn't add your gmail account under license testing so copy this email address or use the same email address of your account like this one and then paste it there and add it it must be under license testing you can add as many as you want here then if we check again we said that we set up license testing and add testers so now we need to add testers go back to all apps select the app that you just uploaded right now then go back to internal testing then test us and then select any test testers list here you can just create a list if you don't have any so just select that one then add the same email address here so if you have friends that you, you want them to assist testing the app then you can just add their email separate by a comma press enter to add into this list then save the changes then once you are done scroll down then you need to copy this link it's probably our next step right now nah, it's this one so this one we are done with that copy the internal program list and join so we'll go back to app so now you need to copy this link this link is the link that you need to send to all your internal testers then they can be able to join this program then now since i don't have access to this one so i'll just accept so now i have access to go ahead and download the app here and start testing the in-app purchases then for those who their app are in production you don't have to do all this step just wait for your app to get published to play store and then that's when you will start testing right so let's check our checklist so our checklist it says that we need to sign in with the same gmail in our emulator or in our phone so open up google i mean android studio then go to play store and then make sure the account that you add here yeah, it's the account that you added under license testing and as well as the internal testing right so this is the same email i only have one email in this emulator so and also on your smartphone your physical phone you need to have one gmail account in your play store app right then that's when everything will work fine so so there's one thing that you need to be careful of when you're creating an emulator right so just go to device manager then go to create new device so for you to be able to use in app purchases you need to make sure any uh, emulator that you create it must have this play store icon right here these ones so these ones without an play store icon they won't work however you try or what they won't work so you need to make sure you choose these ones and create your emulate and log in with the same email that you used in the license testing and internal testing all right so let me just close this so now it's time to test let me just open up the subscriptions because there's one thing that i want to announce also for the next video 
So as you can see, these are the subscriptions that are returned from Play Store. So you can see it's saying test card always approve, right? So you can only get this option if you added your email under license testing. If you see your credit card here or it charges you real money, it means that you didn't add the same email address under license testing. So you need to go back and add it there. So let me just go ahead and show you. Under license testing. So your email, it needs to be here for you to be able to see the test card, right? So I'll go ahead and just subscribe to that. So now I'm subscribed, then the screen, it will refresh. So if I go to the home page, you'll see it shows that monthly subscription. So monthly subscription. So another uh, announcement that I want to make before I close the video is manage subscription. So now I've added to manage your subscription. You can downgrade your subscription. For example, when I click that, now it will take me to the weekly subscription. So I can just continue and be subscribed to a weekly subscription. It will change from monthly to weekly. So if you want to know how I implemented this, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on that notification bell because I'm going to upload the video very soon.